Adam is managing director of an engineering company based in Peterhead. I left the, the Navy and came to run a, a workshop in Peterhead to repair the fishing vessels. But we also repair semi-submersible oil rigs which come to Peterhead and uh, tie up alongside the breakwaters and we service them every year. I think there may have been fears at one time that uh, the oil industry would have created a divided community. But in my experience, this is not the case. In fact, I would say the community has benefited generally uh, from the oil coming to Peterhead. Men's lives are at stake with marine repairs and uh, being a uh, an ex-marine engineer realised the importance of uh, good repair work. Uh, the welders are more competent nowadays, mainly because the standards that the oil industry have set. I feel uh, that being a Christian, it gives me a moral obligation to my employees and also to my clients to do the job properly. And. Uh, generally to provide a good service. Uh, my choice of him would be Far Round the World, thy children sing their song. Uh, the reason for me choosing this song would be that I spent a great many years in the Merchant Navy travelling around the world, and I saw a great many children in uh, very different circumstances. And I feel they need a tremendous amount of understanding uh, to come into the world we live in today. Andrew Duncan is a member of the Baptist Church and has been fishing out of Peterhead for more than 20 years. My father was a skipper and he was a main man in a boat. And we were out in the middle of the North Sea, I think it was the 13th of January. We weren't any superstitious about dates, but that's when it happened. And we were fishing quite strong. There was a lot of fish about and we had a big haul, we last haul at night. And my father, who normally never came onto the deck to give us a hand, came on and uh, slipped and fell over the side. We reckon he took a heart attack with the cold water. And after that, we got him, when we got him back aboard, he was dead. So really, I didn't help our family. And it's the first tragedy that's ever happened, that ever had happened to our family. Really, it was a, an awful blow. I've been born and brought up going to churches all my life, right? But I wasn't a Christian at that time. And I wonder if it was God had been a while, the man man that we had. And he was a Christian. And I wonder if it was has happened. I wasn't doing nothing in my life. Really, I was I was just becoming 
I didn't get fit with God. I was just becoming, I was getting into a routine and I, I couldn't find nothing, there was nothing in front of me, really. I was becoming a, just some lad I was drinking and I, and I was smoking and I was yeah, in a good time and I wasn't doing much for my life. And I could see there's some of my chums that were Christians and they had a kind of sense of purpose that I never ever had. And I began to win up. So one day I was lying in my bed in the house and I, I, was, I was troubled, really I was. And I felt that the Lord came to me came and stood to fit my bed. You may even not believe this, but this is true. And I felt that he had said to me, look, it's time you was getting out of this. So ever since that day, I didn't find the minister, and ever since that day, I've been a Christian. I accepted Jesus as my savior, and I became a Christian. And I'll never regret that. That's have been five years ago. Well, I had another difficulty in charging a hand, because I've been singing sunky hymns for the last 20 odd year. If I'm at sea and if I'm working on a deck and I had not much time to read my Bible or anything. And or sometimes 12 or 14 who were standing on that deck and we start to sing a hymn now and again. And I'd see that I've chosen is that I am so glad that my Father in heaven tells of his love in the book he has given. Wonderful things in the Bible I see. This is the dearest, that Jesus loves me. Even me, and I'm not some hard, I wish some hard kiss, I assure you.
Nat Davidson is a Church of Scotland elder and manages Peter Head's woolen mill. This is the wool scouring process. The greasy wool is fed in at, from the hopper at this end of the machine and continues along the length of the machine in a progressive uh, washing process. It's squeezed at the end of each bowl to remove most of the liquor and then goes on to the next stage. At the end of the machine it goes through a force drying process, hot air, and then it's conveyed back to the starting point where it's pressed back into bales. The site of this present mill has been associated with textiles since approximately 1730. Our company first came here in 1860, and at that time, the main products of the mill were associated with the fishing industry. The main products being heavy woolen goods to make trousers, and also to make woolen yarn for making the heavy undergarments that the fishermen wore in those days. Our range of products varies from industrial knitting yarn to accessories such as scarves, as well as our main product, of course, which is cloth. The cloths that we see weaving here are essentially of a fancy nature. That means that they have several colors in the weft. If the yarn breaks, uh, an electronic signal is given to the loom and the loom stops and remains stopped until one of the operatives comes and pairs the break and restarts the loom. This is our inspection department where we examine all our cloths immediately after they've been woven and correct uh, any faults which uh, may have uh, got into the fabric during the weaving process. You've chosen the hymn, Make Me a Captive Lord. Why? Well, some years ago when I first became acquainted with it, I think the words made a, an impact uh, with me and uh, since then, of course, I've grown to enjoy singing it very much. Mm -hmm. 